Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we will answer another Muslim question. And you know, sometimes I find that Muslim questions are kind of weird and uh, stupid. Uh, it's insulting for intelligence of a human being and insulting for their own religion. Uh, this is a Muslim, his name is Abdullah al-Masri, which is supposed to mean Abdullah the Egyptian. Is posting a question here in front of us saying the following. If Jesus was sent to the children of Israel only, he will be savior. How he will be savior to the whole world? Hmm. I mean, what do you think? This is a smart question, a stupid question. For me, I see it's a stupid question because uh, of the following. First of all, you know, uh, Jesus when he came, he came. He said, "I came to my people, and my people rejected me." But do you accept Jesus to come not to his people first? This is the only nation exists in the in the earth who believe and waiting for the coming Messiah. This is number one, which is very important. Yes, they are waiting for him. You know, they have been prophesied about his coming to them. So they've been told he will come to you. Number two, because they are the only nation who believe in the Messiah and believe in the true God, so it's very normal that he will come to them first. However, did he come only for the Jews? No, Jesus, he said, uh, I have, you know, uh, um, other people in other places and they are waiting for the word. So he told his apostles to go and preach and teach the whole world, not only Israel, and to, you know, to uh, give them the, the, the good news uh, about the salvation of the Messiah and to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So he came first, you know, let us say uh, I arrived uh, in Asia in one airport, but then I went all over. Does that mean I came to Asia to the first city I arrived and that's it? This is my mission? No. However, I want to give the questions to the Muslims because the, the Muslims is the one who says that Jesus was sent only to the Jews. Moses was sent only to the Jews, which contradicting their stories in the Quran, because if you remember, Moses and Aaron, according to the Quran, Allah, he sent them to the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh is not from the Jews. And he made miracles in the front of the Pharaoh, trying to convince him to, uh, to believe in Allah. But this is not a Jew. And the Quran says it clearly, we never send a messenger unless he speaks the, the tongue of his people. But was the tongue of Moses, is the tongue of the Egyptian? Yes, he speaks Egyptian for sure, but this is not really his tongue because supposedly at the end of the day he's a Jew. Now, as long we give you a presentation for the answers, now we need to ask you the same question. If Jesus was sent to the children of Israel, then how you're a smart prophet, he said the following. By him, in whose his hand is, is my life, which means Allah, so he, uh, look how serious it is, you know, uh, Muhammad is swearing, and usually Muhammad always tells the truth, he never lie. You know, it's true that Muhammad, he lied to his wives when he was sleeping around. It's true he lied to his family and his friends and his enemies. It's true that he lied even to himself, convincing himself that he was having sex, but in fact it was the pillow. It's true that he lied about uh, eating honey, as the Muslims they say. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, yeah, but, you know, but here he is serious, he's swearing, you know, like that's, this is serious. I swear, I swear, you know. And the second Muhammad is swear, it's mean he's lying more. Now, this is here, your prophet saying that the Messiah is going, read with me please. I forgot you are illiterate like your prophet did not know how to read. So uh, forgive me, sorry. By him who is my hand, a hand is my life, the son of Mary, uh, and here they add something does not exist, you know, may peace, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's not exist in Arabic. Hmm? Uh, will soon descend, descend, and here I want you to uh, to focus in the uh, will soon, uh, because the will soon here proving that Muhammad is a false prophet, because he just made a prophecy that soon he will be back. Soon, you know. Actually, in Arabic it says liyushikna. You see, in Arabic here, this is liyushikna, which means not only soon. It's like in Arabic you say like it's almost. He's almost here. I see the car. I see. You see, you shikna. This is alone proof that Muhammad is a scam. However, not our topic for now. Uh, so, 
very 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 soon will descend among you as a just judge and he will break the crosses <laughs> like that uh, by the way did you see the cross is made from laser i don't know how you will break this one anyway let it go and jesus will spend the, like his entire life in earth when he come back to break all electric column because all of them they are crosses hello anyway he have time i mean what he would do yeah he's a muslim at this time when you are a muslim you have a lot of time nothing to do no career no profession nothing you know just to spend your time cursing people drinking tea having sex with your 72 wives anyway so he will descend very soon and he will break the cross and he will kill the swine i mean this is a very important mission you see i i i am i'm assuming right now that uh, jesus the muslim which means isa he is like uh, he have a big storage of uh, weapon and because he have to wage war against the, the the pigs man i mean this is a big war jesus versus uh, Je jesus the muslim versus uh, uh, the pigs of the world i mean he will be so busy <laughs> I mean, imagine, guys. Imagine. Allah, he is so upset from the pigs. But why? We don't know why. I mean, he is the one who created them. Hello? Oh, why the pigs? What about the cockroaches? I mean, the cockroaches are more harmful. The uh, pigs, they are saving the life of many. Do you know that every surgery is made in this earth is made by uh, meat or uh, flesh is made from pigs? So how you say to me that he is going to kill the pigs? What exactly the pigs' problem is? Nobody knows. Anyway, not important. Let it go. Let it go. You know, he will be like Sylvester Stallone, killing all the bad guys. And in this case, the bad guys, only the pigs in this world. No rabies, no criminals, nobody. <laughs> pigs. <laughs> pigs and cross. Pigs and cross. Hey, Jesus, what are you doing? I'm killing pigs and cross. How many pigs you killed today, Jesus? I'm tired. I'm really tired. I killed today like a thousand pigs. Do you know how many billion pigs there is left, Jesus? Or what I can do? You know, Allah, He want. I am a Muslim. I have to do it. <laughs> then, He will abolish the jizya, and the wealth will pour forth on such an extent that no one will accept it. I mean, why? How this will happen? How the wealth will will be all over? It's the opposite. The world is getting bigger in population. The the resource is getting less, and people they are fighting and going in war more and more. And the end of the time. Uh, that will not happen it's a false prophecy uh, but remember muhammad was talking about jesus that he will come very 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 soon you know very very soon so the false prophet he made a false prophecy however the topic is if jesus was sent only for the children of israel as you muslims claim how he is the one who will rule the whole world how he is the one who will be the leader for the whole world and why he is the one who will finish the mission for all mankind not Muhammad if you claim that Muhammad is the only messenger was sent to mankind and the rest they were sent to their people then how this is happening so I gave you the question back and I'm sure you have no answer anyway you can pick up some bookers from your nose and don't eat them because I saw a lot of Muslims practice such a thing it looked like a uh, fun but you can do that if you want however can you give me, give me an answer However, the fact actually, the Quran says that Muhammad was not sent as a messenger for the world. If we go in the Quran, you will see that he said, وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مُبَارَكٌ مُصَدِّقٌ لِلَّذِي مَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Here, this is an answer for those who say uh, the, the Bible is corrupt. It says here, مُصَدِّقٌ مُصَدِّقُ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ So he is approving what is between his hand. وَلِتُنِذِرَ أُمَّ الْقُرَى and to warn the people in the mother of the villages and what is around it what is the mother of the villages this is chapter 6 verse number 92 it is simply Mecca it's a village and to warn people who they are around Mecca so how Muhammad became an international messenger if the Quran says that he is just sent for the mother of that village is not city this is a false translation and what is around her do you see it and to confirm that if you go, if you go and do more search in the quran it says why allah he sent the book in arabic why you know what the benefit because simply so they might understand okay that's mean it's sent only for the arab you know inna anzalnahu qur'anan arabiyya la'allukum okay chapter 12 verse number 2 
we send the book in Arabic Quran so you might understand. That's a good thing. All right. Uh, it, there is many verses, you see, all those verses speaking about confirming that this is an Arabic book uh, because simply it was sent to the Arab and uh, it, it should be taught to the Arab. You know, all those verses, you can take the numbers, you can freeze the screen, all right? But this one is more important for me. Chapter 41, verse number 3, it says the following, and this is your, your Muslim translation, not mine. So don't say it's false translation. Hello, I know you Muslims. You cry too much, but there's no tears. So you fake it. You use your saliva as tears, as, as tears when you need it. Let us read the translation. Sorry, the internet is very slow, you know. All right, okay, the, uh, uh, a book wherefore the verses are explained in details, <laughs> the Quran uh, in Arabic, for people who uh, uh, understand. I mean, who is going to understand the Arabic except the Arab? And the funny, I find it very funny that the Quran is say, saying that we explain the verses in details. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure? So why the Muslims do not know what the, the Quran itself says? There's a lot of verses nobody knows what they mean, and why we have tens of thousands of books of tafsir if the Quran is explained in details? I mean, and why they don't agree with each other? And why uh, sometimes uh, the the Muslims uh, most of the time they say Allah knows best because they have no idea what the Quran is saying. I mean, this is stupid. But however, the important is Muhammad was an Arabian prophet for the Arab sent to him a book in Arabic so they might understand. Muhammad was sent to a town town or village, it's called Mecca, and what is around it, not the opposite, not to the world, and then he was sent to the to Mecca. Hmm? And this is your Muslim translation, you can change, you don't like uh, Yusuf Ali, go to Big Tab, you know, Big Tab, uh, you know, he take a shower once a year, so I think he, his translation would be more clean. Uh, let us see what uh, Victor wanna say. Okay, all right. See, I told you it's the villages. Yeah, they are lying in the Yusuf Ali. So they send to to warn the mother of the villages and those who they are around it. That's it. What is the distance between what is around it? I mean, uh, 40 mile, 50 mile. So you Muslims, you say, how Jesus come? How come he is sent to his own people, and he will be for the whole world savior? He is the savior for the whole world in your religion too, you idiot. For he is going to be Hakaman Muqsitan. Actually, here the translation is false. You see here it says Hakaman Muqsitan. In the translation, it doesn't appear. Hakaman Muqsitan, which means he is going to be the absolute just a ruler. You see here in the translation, amazingly, it's gone. I don't see it. Where is Hakaman Muqsitan? Let me change it, it change just the, the hadith because this, the hadith has exist in many places. All right. Uh, here we go. You see? All right. Ah, uh, here he appear. You see, it's the same hadith, but suddenly here it does appear and there it doesn't appear. Huh? Judging justly. Actually, it's not judging justly uh, 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 only. By the way, how Jesus can be a man and he is judging justly? There's no man can judge justly. To be able to judge justly, you have to know the unseen, so nobody can lie to you. So he is going to absolute. Have you ever heard about a, a judge? He is uh, or a ruler. He is absolute judge. Only God, only God can do that. To be fair, perfect fair, you have to be God. A human being, they have errors and they have mistakes. They are not perfect. As long as you are not perfect, then you make imperfect things. So how Jesus will be judging justly, which is a false translation for the hadith. Huh? Amazing. Huh? See? A just ruler. Even this one is not true. Hakaman Muqsitan. He will be a ruler as a ruler, as a king. And the same time, Hakaman, which is the same word as a judge. And then he will be the absolute just. And that he will do to the whole world. This is why. He is, he is ruling over those who, you know, uh, because then uh, 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 the, the Quran says, then all the people, they will believe in him. All the people will believe in him, which means at this moment, there's nobody is not a believer no more. Why? Because he come back. When he come back, all people, they will believe. 
So how he is a Jewish prophet sent to the Jews, Muslims, but yet he is the savior for the world. Where is Muhammad? When Muhammad, in this moment, when Jesus come back, where is Muhammad is going to be? I will tell you, he will be watching uh, illegal downloaded movies in his grave. He will be dead and he is dead already. So Jesus is alive, he will come back, and he is the one who will save the world. So the question will go back to you. How Jesus was sent to his people only, you claim Muslims, that he was sent only to the Jews, same as Musa, same as etc. But yet, he is the one who will save the world. Leave your comment under the video, please. And don't forget, please don't leave Muslims, you know, I mean, the F word, etc. You can quote Quran for me, but I mean, can't you change the words? Use different words, at least, at least say it in Arabic. I mean, Muslims get upset from me. They keep saying to me the F word. Don't you? Aren't you worried to have AIDS? Because obviously you F everybody, men, women. Are you a gay? I mean, what, what's going on? So uh, try to clean your 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 uh, words. Act, act, act as a good believer. By the way, Muhammad used the F word, which means you are a good believer now. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much for watching. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord, as you see, and He is the Savior of the world. Even if the in the book of boogers Muhammad the false prophet thank you